A tornado is often considered the most powerful storm on Earth. Wind speed can exceed 200 miles per hour. We classify these tornadoes based on what's called the enhanced Fujita scale. We end up having damage, a lot of it in many cases, from tornadoes, and we go assess that damage and give it a strength rating, EF0 to EF5, and estimated wind speeds go along with that. For instance, EF0 is the weakest of all tornadoes, if you will. Wind speed of 65 to 85 miles per hour happen with them, and that's the same as a Category 1 hurricane. Minor damage happens, such as shingles coming off our house, gutters and siding getting some damage, branches broken off of small trees, even though small trees could be uprooted along with a lot of bushes too. EF1 is the next on the list. Wind speed of 86 to 110 miles per hour produces moderate damage. Roofs are severely stripped from houses. A lot of the shingles, if not all of them, are end up ripping off the house with tornado wind speeds of this magnitude. Mobile homes get overturned. The precise reason why not to be in a mobile home during a tornado warning. We lose our doors. We also lose our windows and glass starts to fly around as it gets broken. Wind of 111 to 135 miles per hour is categorized as an EF2. Considerable damage happens then. Our roofs of our houses can be torn off. Also, the house can shift on its foundation. Mobile homes get destroyed. Large trees get uprooted. Wind of 136 to 165 miles per hour, an EF3, causes severe damage. Entire second stories of homes get destroyed. Also, some of the uh, cars can be lifted up and thrown somewhat just uh, perhaps 50 feet, even up to 100 feet. Wind of 166 to 200 mile an hour winds, EF4. Less than 1% of all tornadoes get this classification. Causes devastating damage. Whole houses are leveled. Cars are thrown up to 300 feet, and a lot of debris gets to be flown around with these particular storms. And this tornado that happened yesterday in Moore, Oklahoma, has been classified as an EF5. It's the most devastating tornado on Earth. Wind of excess 200 miles an hour causes extreme damage. Multiple houses get leveled. Concrete structures even get badly damaged. If it happens at a big city, high-rise buildings get damaged and can throw cars over 300 feet. This is precisely the magnitude of the tornado that happened in Joplin just two years ago that killed over 160 people. Mike Simon, VLT, Local 8 News.